Okay, so we've got our voltage calculation, uh, but what about the current? Well, we've got a circuit, uh, V equals IR, and the resistance, although it's really low, it doesn't change. So as the voltage would increase or decrease with RPM, the current will trace it. It will follow it. So as the voltage goes up, the current will go up. It has to from this function. So if we have a very low voltage on this machine, which we do, very low voltage, um, we have a very low current. As we're just stuck with it. Uh, we need to get that voltage up to get the current up because, strangely enough, because the power is the voltage times the current, and since the current goes up when the voltage goes up, uh, the power goes up with the square of the RPM. Okay, you following me? The voltage goes up, the current goes up, the power goes up with the square of these functions. So, the RP, as the RPM doubles, the power is going to quadruple. As the RPM triples, the power is going to go up by a factor of nine. Um, so, the most important factors in the machine are the radius, uh, because you want that high radius uh, to get that huge uh, multiplication of voltage, and you want that multiplication of voltage to get the multiplication of current, and then you get this compounding effect with the power. So <clears throat> I hope this helps explain uh, the power in the system and that the power becomes a function of the square of the RPM and the voltage is a function of the square of the radius uh, but only linearly related to the field strength and linearly related to the RPM and it's very linear as we uh, showed on the scope and stuff in the other videos. So, uh, quickly, I'd like to step over to my new machine then um, and take a quick look inside. This is the counter-rotating segmented disc design where these segments interconnect, oops, interconnect a disc that looks like this on the other side of this plate inside here. So, uh, with all these elements and all these little tiny contacts, oops, strong magnet, we get a very low, I'm sorry, very high resistance. Very high resistance means very small current, almost an unmeasurable current out of this machine. And this is all presenting evidence for the need to build a better machine. The need to build a machine that has powerful rollers in here that can carry higher current and a more stout design, a three-dimensional brush instead of this two-dimensional flat surface that's making contact here. We need a three-dimensional surface so we can build a machine that can really be tested for current and power. These machines can only be tested for voltage. So I hope that makes sense. Contact me if you have any questions. Thank you.